African wild dogs, also known as African painted wolves, are fascinating and highly social predators native to sub-Saharan Africa. Here are some interesting facts about them. African wild dogs are one of the most social carnivores, living in packs that can range from 2 to 20 individuals. The pack structure is highly cooperative, and roles are often specialized within the group. The alpha male and alpha female lead the pack, but leadership is often shared, and decision-making is a group effort. They have strong bonds, and pack members often exhibit affectionate behaviors like grooming and playing. They are known for their highly coordinated hunting strategy. Unlike lions or other big cats that rely on ambush, African wild dogs employ stamina-based hunting. The pack works together to chase down prey, with each member running at a steady pace to wear out the target over long distances. They can run up to 37 miles per hour over several miles during a hunt. Their prey includes antelopes, wildebeest, and other medium-sized mammals. But they are also opportunistic, and may hunt smaller animals or scavenge when the opportunity arises. African wild dogs communicate with a variety of vocalizations, including twittering sounds, like a bird's chirp, that help the pack stay in touch during hunts and while moving through dense terrain. They also use body language, including tail wagging and specific postures to coordinate actions and reinforce social bonds. After a successful hunt, wild dogs often bring back meat to feed the young and less dominant members of the pack. This cooperative behavior ensures the survival of the whole group. The pack does not compete for food in a traditional sense. Instead, there's a communal effort to share with the most dominant animals often feeding first. African wild dogs typically breed once a year, with the alpha pair being the primary breeders in the pack. The other adults help care for the pups, which is a communal effort. Puppies are born in a den and are kept hidden for their first few weeks. The pack helps to protect and feed the pups and the adults often bring food to the den for them. The pups are highly dependent on the pack, and the survival rate is often higher when the entire group works together. African wild dogs are known for their distinctive coat pattern, which is a patchwork of yellow, black, white, and brown fur. Each individual has a unique pattern, much like human fingerprints. They have large, rounded ears that help with heat regulation and keen hearing, allowing them to detect prey from a distance. The African wild dog is classified as endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN. There are only an estimated 6,000 individuals left in the wild. Their primary threats include habitat loss, human-wildlife conflict, especially with farmers and herders, diseases like canine distemper and rabies, and competition with larger predators like lions and hyenas. African wild dogs are found in a variety of habitats, from savannas and woodlands to grasslands. They prefer areas with low human activity, as they need large territories to roam and hunt. They are typically found in parts of Southern Africa, Eastern Africa, and a few pockets in West and Central Africa. In the wild, African wild dogs typically live for about 6 to 10 years, although some individuals in protected areas may live longer. In captivity, where they are free from many of the dangers they face in the wild, they may live up to 12 years. As apex predators, African wild dogs play an important role in maintaining the balance of their ecosystem. By hunting herbivores, they help regulate populations and ensure the health of the prey species, preventing overgrazing and promoting biodiversity. These highly intelligent and cooperative animals are one of Africa's most remarkable predators, but they face serious challenges to their survival. Conservation efforts are critical to ensuring that their unique way of life continues to thrive in the wild.